Do you have quotes that need an e-signature? Let me show you how with Jotform Sign. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the very, very top where it says my forms. We're gonna change it over to my sign documents. Next, we're gonna click the green create sign document button. And from here, if you already have a PDF version of your quote, you can absolutely utilize the upload document. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and utilize the template option. And I'm gonna do a quick search for quote. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and utilize this wedding photography quotation request. All right, let's go ahead and give this a quick scroll, see what we're working with. So it looks like we have two different colors, which means two different signers. So basically me, the photographer, and then the client who has requested my services. So let's make sure that everything is correct. Now everything looks perfect to me on my side, but let's say there is something that you maybe want to add in, maybe another signature or just something else that needs to be filled out by your client. If you are familiar with the JotForm form builder, this is very similar. So over on the left-hand side, if you choose add fields, we can add any of these elements for them to utilize within our document. So let's say we need for them to sign somewhere else. We can drag this in right over here and we can see that the properties automatically opens up. If we need to change it from the client to me, we can do that. We can also change the field label from signature and we can also require it or not requirement. But like I said, this was perfect for me to begin with. So I'm gonna go ahead and trash this one. Now let's go ahead and go up in the top right hand corner and let's preview this document. We can see right up here, we have 11 fields to fill out, and this is going to look exactly how it looked in the builder. So let's say I want to see what this looks like to my client. Up here in the top left, we can change this from all roles to just the client. And we can see this is now changed to three fields. We can scroll down and we see right down here at the bottom. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the preview and let's head to the tabs at the top. So currently we're in build, let's head over to settings. Now this is where we can change the overall title of our PDF if we choose to. Second tab is gonna be our email settings. If we need to edit the subject, we can. I'm gonna go ahead and put please sign ASAP. Now this email message within the settings tab, this is gonna go to every single person who is required to sign this. If you have any integrations that you want to add in, you can do that here as well. But let's jump to the send tab because that is where the magic happens. So we can see both of the people, we have me and we have the client. So this is where we need to put in our client's name and email. So let me go ahead and do that. Next on the far right, we have two icons. We have a key and then a message, and this is going to be available for each person. So if we would like this person to provide a passcode before entering their information, we can click the key. Let's go ahead and make it one, two, three. And we also have this message bubble. So let's go ahead and utilize this opportunity to tell them that their passcode is 123. Now, again, they're going to get that first message that was over in settings, please sign ASAP. And then this one message is only going to them letting them know their passcode. Now let's jump up to our options. If we need to set an expiration date, we can do that. If we wanna send automated remind emails, we can do that. If we'd like to delegate the signer, we can do that. I personally wanna go and turn this off because I want my client to be the only one who is signing. And then of course we have CC recipients, but let's head back over here. Now, if I hit send a sign right now, both parties are going to get it at the same time to fill out. And that is not what I want to happen. I want me as the photographer to be able to fill it out first. And then once I'm done, my client sign the things that they need to sign. So in order to do that, we need to turn on the signing order. And that happens right here. Now it's going to go in order. Now we know that I need to do this first. So right over here, we just need to click these dots and move it up. So now as soon as I am done signing, my client will get her email to finish the process. So as of right now, I think we are good to go. So let's send it to sign. Now here we can see exactly who it went to. It went to me and it went to my client. And then we can see that this person also has that passcode. Now, before we jump over to the emails to see what this looks like and fill them out, I want to show you the inbox. So I'm gonna go up to the top left-hand corner where it says sign builder and we're gonna jump to the inbox. 
Now we can see across the top, there are a bunch of different tabs. The first tab that you're gonna land in is all documents. Now if something is needing your signature, it's going to be in waiting for my signature like this one right now. Now as soon as I fill out this and I hit accept and send, it's gonna automatically jump to the waiting for others, this very next one. Now once it's completed, it'll land and completed. Then we also have canceled and declined as well. So now that we have done this, we are going to stay in the waiting for my signature. Let's jump over to the email and let's fill this out. All right, so I am in my email as the photographer and we can see the general message where it says, please sign ASAP. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to review and sign. Now we can see that it automatically brought me here. There was no passcode needed, but up at the top, we can see we have seven fields that we need to fill out as the photographer. Now, none of these were required. So I'm gonna go ahead and just say yes, complete and sign and then accept and send. Now let's jump over to my client's email and see what it looks like for them. All right, so we can see that general message where it says, please sign ASAP. And then we also have that private message that is just to me, letting me know my passcode. So I'm gonna go ahead and do review and sign document. Then I'm gonna go ahead and enter in that passcode, then validate. And we can see right up here at the top, I have two fields that I need to fill out. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down. It went ahead and pre-filled in my name. So if I click on the client signature, it allows me to just basically click next and sign it for me. If we wanna change the style or the color, we can do that. Or if you want to sign our official signature, we can do that as well. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. I'm gonna choose the date. And it automatically knows that this is the last field that needs to be completed. So as soon as we click this, it's going to take us to accept and send. And we're good to go. So let's head back over to our inbox and we are no longer waiting for that signature. It automatically moved out, it moved to waiting for others, and now it is officially over here and completed. Now, if we take a quick scroll, we can see that it's no longer just one page, it is two, and we now have that audit trail, so we can see exactly where this document went. If we need to download and print, all we need to do is click this button right here. But another really nice thing is that this information, this data also lives in our tables. So. If we come up here to the top left, we can choose tables and we can go ahead and scroll all the way to the end. We can see that signature and it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing JotForm Sign for your quote e-signatures, let us know and I'll see you next time.